uh, a caller from Ireland. We've got Jerry wanting to talk to us. Jerry from Ireland, you're live on Truth Wanted. What's up? Uh, hi, Kevin. Hi, Dan. Um, before I get into my little question, uh, Dan, nice to see you. Um, I enjoyed your uh, deconstruction with uh, Anthony. Um, Thank you. Uh, Kevin, yeah, you're welcome. Um, I hope you can understand my Irish accent. We can totally, totally understand it so far. You are good to go. Um, Kevin, um, at the start of the show, I heard you talking about the, the religion um, trying to creep into the school system in America. And, you know, being the optimist that I am, I thought that uh, Kids Miller read over would kind of have settled that for once and for all. But um, I'm just wondering, are they the religious? Are they still trying to get their claws into schools? Well, I by far, and I think we've as um, young people right now are almost fifty percent non-religious, and so as they've they're watching the number of the percentage of non-religious people grow. As the United States is becoming more and more pluralistic and where the uh, percentage of white people will be actually be less than the percentage of people of color in the United States, I think the, the fear of losing power and privilege, especially by white Christian men, is, uh, is overwhelming them. And so the amount, the obscene, obscene amount of money that they are throwing at taking over school boards and banning books and, uh, you know, legislation that takes away LGBT rights and, I mean, you name it. Um, the money that they're throwing out this is maddening. Um, and so when one state sort of starts something and, get you know, gets a, a law in like the don't gay the, the don't say gay bill in Florida then Texas goes and ups it and then Missouri goes we're going to do even better um, when they you know when Texas started its uh, law that allowed uh, chaplains you know with no background checks to come in and be counselors in schools no degrees no background checks um, so Sure. You know, other other states started doing that as well. Um, so we continue to see, uh, you know, their fervor and pushing um, this in the public system. Um, school vouchers is a huge thing. And if you really want to scare yourself about sort of the next potential step um, that could be happening in American politics, go read Project Twenty Twenty Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, I'll, I'll I'll tell you this, Jerry. Um, again, like in my mind, I wasn't a part of like atheism or whatever, you know, or, or, or activism, uh, you know, 10, 10 years ago, or even 20 years ago, but a lot of it, again, was the kind of focus on, uh, you know, creationism in schools. Right. I mean, I think that was like maybe one of the bigger focuses. Now it's kind of everything. <laughs> now we're talking about LGBT rights. We're talking about, um, uh, science education, obviously. Um, but we're also talking about like, uh, you know, f this sort of like free speech debate of, of basically being able to teach like Christianity in schools. I mean, that's, that's really what people want to do at the, the overreach that some organizations really want to have in a public schools is so jaw dropping. It almost sounds unreal. It almost sounds evil, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, but it's totally real. It's totally documented that, yeah, these, these are the aims uh, in which uh, groups, you know, want to go at uh, and, and get this stuff in school. And, you know, if you told someone five years ago, yeah, we weren't going to have Roe v. Wade anymore. I'm sure they think that was crazy, too. But you know, that obviously is dropped. So there is a real fight that has to happen in maintaining the already tenuous balance uh, or lack thereof that we have between uh, church and state separation. And um, yeah, that's definitely why organizations like SSA exist. Um, yeah. Um, so the so-called wedge strategy is still ongoing. Um, um, I guess we're looking here in Ireland 
um, the Catholic Church is on its knees, if not yeah. more, and it's lost it's lost its influence totally. Like I'm sixty six. When I was growing up, Ireland was basically a theocracy. Yeah. Um, just uh, two things that kind of correlate with what you were saying there. Um, in the last couple of years, there were there was there were two issues that came up here in Ireland. One was a a teacher in a college up in the west of Ireland. Um, his first name was Enoch. That should give you a clue. Um, and he was um, very homophobic in the school, in the college. Um, he got um, put on leave um, and was told to stay off the college grounds. But he kept coming back. Eventually, he got arrested, and eventually, he got fired. Uh, yeah. See, in, in the United States, we're hiring those guys as 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 deans of universities and stuff. Like that's that's kind of, that's kind of what's happening, you know. Um, it's just like some people are are really up in arms about um, you know, the sort of woke agenda that's happening in schools. You know, that's always kind of been a thing. Like, meanwhile, the absolute erosion of people's rights and the absolute erosion of a, a you know more objective science based curriculum. Uh, and and more objective understanding of history. Oh my God, I didn't even talk about that part of it. You know, um, you know, it is it's it's all of that is is a debate that's happening every day, and is it is you know definitely affecting American school systems. Um, so it's 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 pretty rough. It's it's not great, um, but you know, no, uh, we're uh, trying. Um, yeah, um, like. I've been in ATS for over 50 years, um, um, and it's pretty easy for me to be an atheist here in Ireland. Um, Ireland is getting very secular, um, but I'm, from an outsider looking in, I'm amazed that uh, America is the world's number one superpower. And yet you've got this insidious fundamentalist religious people trying to influence every part of uh, yep. American life. And it's yep. frightening. Yeah, it, it's definitely frightening for us too. Lobbying is a is a hell of a drug. I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a hell of a thing. But they got a lot of money, and they're really pushing for it. Uh, Kevin can can speak more to that than I can. I, I think, you know, and it's beyond even lobbying. It's just, it's completely taking over. And we were uh, at one of the uh, secular meetings. We actually had um, two of the, the leadership of Humanist International here in the United States. And we had a presentation just about what was really happening in the background of the United States and how well organized this was. Um, and I would have to say, you know, they, they were both sh completely shocked at the sort of the money and influence and organization that's happening right now in the United States, which is, which is somewhat a shame. I feel like we're supposed to be like the example. We're supposed to be the star, you know, the the shrining of separation of church and state, and you know, and real freedom and those sorts of things. And I feel like we're just just doing a disservice uh, to the rest of the world, and uh, unfortunately, you know, exporting a lot of just the. The craziness and vitriol and and bad organization that are, are unfortunately affecting uh, you know, other countries at this point. You're right. Our our number one American export is crazy. I think at the moment, um, it it is really bad. It's it's weird when you see like you know uh, like Australian QAnon folks or whatever you know like folks that are like <laughs> into American conspiracy theories that like don't even live here. Like that's that's how much of an influence we apparently are to people and it's not even a good one. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very disappointing. Um, but yeah, Jerry, was there any other questions you want to ask Kevin about this specifically? Um, just that, um, I, I empathize with, um, all atheists in America because I mean, 
you've got more churches than we have houses here in Ireland in one city in America. Yeah, uh, yeah you're probably right. <laughs> near, near a large, yeah, I live near a pretty large town for Ireland, about 35,000, and there are two churches. Yeah. Well, I think the, the hopeful thing for us is today's youth, one, are, are just realizing the hypocrisy of what they're seeing with sort of the perversion of religion and trying to really inject it into uh, government and society and force people to believe your Christian beliefs. Um, so, and you know, the more and more you know, young people that are becoming non-religious, this, as, as we go forward and, and how that affects women's rights and LGBT rights and the environment, you know, even it gets down to things like voting, you know, who can vote and who can get uh, financial aid on campus. I mean, that's some of the things that the conservatives are, conservatives are attacking. Um, so I'm very hopeful about the young population coming up and the world as they see it um, yeah. is, is going to be a much better one. And I think much more in the democracy and pluralism and freedom that America, the United States is supposed to exhibit. I hope so. God, I hope so. Hopefully we don't arrest them all. 